Here we go with the last round of pit stops. Dave Burns, we're checking in with you first. Marty, this is the opportunity that Jeff Burton did not get in California. They do get the chance to put on the best set of tires, according to crew chief Pat Smith, that they have for the night. They'll be scuffed tires, and they will uh, be very little adjustments air pressure-wise in the 29. Mike? This is not the caution race leader Matt Kenseth wanted to see. They had the fuel to go the distance. They felt like if they stayed on the racetrack, though, they'd be sitting ducks. Matt Kenseth came over the radio saying, let's put it on four and hope for the best. Jamie? And Cliff Boyer in that number two car, they did not want to caution either. They're better on the long runs. They did four tires, fuel, and air pressure adjustment, and he's out, guys. So it looks like, uh, did Boyer get off first in the pit lane? Yeah, I believe Clint Boyer's uh, crew did a terrific job there. We actually saw uh, just a little bit on Jeff Burton's car, just a, a small uh, problem there. Watch the jack man and the right front tire here, Brad. Alan, we talked about Jeff Burton at Phoenix having the problem that cost him the race. This is the money stop. This is the one that you have to hit perfectly, in, out, clean, efficiently, and they, they had a tough time on that right front. Clint Boyer into the final time around this three-quarter mile track here at Richmond. He's got lap traffic in front of him, but I don't think it's going to matter. There's the gap back to Matt Kenseth. You saw the Dish Network car around turn four. And for the second time this year, Clint Boyer is going to see the checkered flag first at Richmond.